Alright okay, guys, today I'll be doing a player analysis on the new Federico Chiesa Fantasy FC card. So we're just going to have a quick look before we jump into the player analysis and what it would usually be at the additional info here and how much we're going to predict that he's going to get upgraded. Now Juve are obviously doing a massive fly this season, but they have hit a bit of bad form as of recent, only getting one win in their last five. Um, so that is obviously something to note and that's not great. I mean, one of the losses was to Inter. But the other nets they lost, you know, they really didn't want to get there. So the next four games of them are mm, fairly difficult, actually. They've got Lazio and Napoli. Um, and Napoli have just won, a, like, 6-1. And Atlanta as well. Uh, and then they play Genoa. So they might get two wins there. They probably should get two wins. Uh, and Chiesa obviously probably does start most games for them. Just having a little look here at his player profile. No, he actually hasn't started that one. Um, does he actually play? Not really. Chiesa is a substitute usually. I mean, he plays sometimes, but not recently. Um, so he, he probably will make three appearances, considering that he has always come on as a sub for them. Uh, and will the club score 11 goals? Probably not, boys, unless they hit the form that they were hitting before they started losing games. Um, so we'll probably say no to that one. And then will he get a goal on assist? We're also going to say no. So we reckon this card's going to go up to a 91 rated, um, all told there. So let's actually have a look at this card then. So Chiesa is 5 foot 9 high medium, 5 star, 4 star right foot and explosive. Perfect start for a winger there. Um, and he can also play on the left wing. That's nice. But obviously he's right foot, so you want to maybe keep him on the right wing. And then in terms of linking him, obviously it's going to be a piece of piss considering that he's Syria Italy. Okay, let's have a look at the stats then. The stuff that really matters for a card. It makes the card. So we've got 95 pace, 88 shooting, 80... Oh, okay, yeah, that's a really good start. Very, very nice. The passing, now it does say 81. You might be going, no, it's awful. But if you look at the stuff that really does matter for a winger, sort of crossing curves, short pass, long pass vision, it all is sufficient. Um, I'm surprised that he can't play up front, actually, as he has been playing up front for them, but... We won't question it. And then the dribbling's obviously brilliant and perfect. Heading accuracy is awful, but he's five foot nine, so it doesn't matter. And then the physicality will suffice there. So we've got two playstyle pluses, seven normal playstyles. So let's have a look at the normal playstyles. We've got finesse shot, chip shot, incisive pass, whip pass, flare, quick step, relentless. And then we've got Travella plus and rapid plus. So a very, very nice card there, boys. It looks very juicy indeed. Um, now I would say try and upgrade the shooting and passing. Uh... And it is coming in at a price of 2.8 mil, boys. Now, considering he's only going to go up by two ratings, I don't think the 2.8 mil price tag is it, really, boys, to be honest. Um, so I would say steer clear. 